Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to blend together focus stacked images. Now, focus stacked images are ones where you take several shots of a scene focused at different points. So for this image here, focus was around this area here for the first image. The next was here in the center and the third shot was here at the back. So that's just making sure that sharpness is captured in each of these areas and then we blend them together. So when we actually zoom in, you'll see here that the image is pin sharp in every single part. So let's close this window down. And what you need to do is export your three images. Well, it's usually three, it could be two, it could be three, it could be four, but most often it's gonna be three images that you took. Um, put them in a folder and then what we need to do is go to file and scripts and then load files into stack so you can either look for files or for a folder but to speed things up I've already found that folder so I've created a folder with three images in called Lumsdale stack and there are my three shots so I'm just going to highlight those and then click OK and just make sure that you click on the attempt to automatically align source images checkbox because that will just make sure that everything is perfectly aligned and then just hit OK and it just takes a few moments for Photoshop to stack those up. OK, so there are our three stacked images and you'll see there at the edges we have a bit of background and that's because of the alignment so that has taken place and We'll sort that out later, that just needs a quick crop. So the next thing that we need to do now that we have all images aligned and loaded in to the stack there is just hold down shift and then click on that top one so that all of the layers are selected. Then go up to the main menu and select edit and go to auto blend layers. And Photoshop is really quite clever. It can identify what kind of images it's actually looking at. So here it knows automatically that it's an image stack that needs to take place. So just make sure that seamless tones and colors is checked. Make sure that content to wear fill transparent areas isn't checked because if it was, we could end up with some really messy fill all the way around the image and it's just a lot easier to crop it. Okay, so hit okay. And then this is gonna take a little bit longer than the alignment, but once it's actually finished, you'll see that there are masks attached to each of the three layers, bringing in different parts so that the whole shot is in focus. And that was really quick, actually. So we have a bit more of a border now that that's been blended together. So the first thing that you need to do is zoom right into the image. So I just hit Z on the keyboard to bring up the zoom tool. And now I'm holding down the space bar to give me the hand tool so I can drag my way around the image. So what we're looking for here is any mistakes. What can sometimes happen is there may just be a blob of blur in an area where it should be sharp and it just seems like it happens for no apparent reason. Sometimes these issues can be cloned out. Other times they're just too big and too troublesome. Running the whole sequence again, so starting again from the very beginning, sometimes you can get different results. But if you're still getting those really big problems, you're gonna to have to manually focus stack the images. But usually, I'd say anywhere between 50 and 75% of the time, you can get away with doing it this quick and easy automatic way. So I think we've been very lucky on this occasion. There are no errors. So I'm just gonna hit control and zero so I can see the whole image. And now C on the keyboard. So I just have ratio set for the crop tool with nothing in these boxes here. So I am just gonna zoom back in slightly. I can use the hand tool again. If you zoom in much closer than this, you can actually get a pixel perfect crop. So you can get it much more perfect than me. So it's just a case of doing each side, bring that in, and then we can lose that edge and then control zero again. So there you'll see the mask. It's just a bit of a glitch in Photoshop where at certain magnifications, you can see all the different pieces of the jigsaw that has been created. So let's just flatten that off and there it's, it's back to normal. And we have our focus stacked image. So that is how to focus stack a landscape image in Photoshop.